that group. Jackson Lattimore lived a pretty normal life, that is, up until three years ago. That's when he went into cardiac arrest during a basketball game. He was just 21 years old. Lattimore was in the hospital for weeks, and when he went home, he had a pacemaker and a half a million dollars in medical bills. Half a million bucks. So Jackson joins us now. Jackson, good to talk to you. Uh, you're just finishing up grad school, but you're also uninsured. So you're in this situation where I know you have to have your heart rate checked every three months, but you're skipping some of those appointments because you don't have the money to pay for those appointments. What do you hope Obamacare does for you? Uh, I just want to thank you guys for having me on the show, first of all. Um, I'm hoping the bill gives me some, some you know, I just want to have health insurance. You know, it's a mm -hmm. burden right now. All this happening when I was 21, it was, you know, something I never expected to happen. Um, well, I know that you, have you gone to the site today? Um, actually, I'm going to hold off for a couple of weeks. I'm sure millions of people are on trying to get on today. So I'm going to hold off for a little bit before I uh, start the process. Well, what are your doctors telling you? I mean, this condition that you have means that you have to have surgery every nine years just to maintain your device. That's assuming that everything's going to go smoothly in between that time. What have your doctors told you about how your coverage is going to enable you to have the health insurance you need? Um, yeah, you're right. Um, every every nine years, I'm supposed to get my battery checked. Um, I have a pacemaker defibrillator. Every three months, I'm supposed to get my um, my heart rate checked. So, honestly, me and my doctor, we haven't sat down and had you know a one-on-one -on -one conversation about what I'm going to do about my medical coverage and stuff like that. That's just something I'm going to have to determine on my own. You know what suits me financially right now, and you know basically just cost and how much. Um, medical insurance I can get. So you it's mentioned, just, I'm just going to take it. J Jackson, you mentioned cost. I, I know you're exploring options of which plan you want to take, platinum, gold, silver, bronze. But at the same time, you may end up paying up to 40% of your health care costs, depending on which plan you sign up for. So are you worried about those kinds of costs? And will it make you have to skip some appointments like you've had to do already? You know, I'm, I'm definitely worried. I'm definitely worried. I mean, this is, uh, you know, a very serious situation. You know, I hate to skip my appointments. Um, but, yeah, I mean, like you said, I'm going to have to pay that 40%. You know, it's rough. It's rough. I'm worried. I'm definitely worried about what's going to happen, what the future holds for me financially. If you would have asked me on December 6th of 2010, I wouldn't have been too worried. But now, you know, I'm definitely scared about what's going to happen. Well, Jackson, Lattimore, we just we want to wish you all the best. I understand you had a half a million dollars in medical bills. There were a lot of local charities that stepped forward and some Medicare coverage, and you're down to about 30000 in medical bills. We just want to wish you all the best in your bright future. You're there in graduate yes. school, so we're hoping all the best for you, Jackson.